What did a feast look like for an Anglo-Saxon king? So a feast for a king would look like a feast for a peasant or anybody else. Um, they were eating pretty much the same stuff. So a big feast would have had lots of meat um, and veggies and bread to spread that on. But those were special occasions. Most of the rest of the time, they were pretty much sort of seasonal vegetarians, for want of a better word. You were eating veggies most of the year and these big meat blowouts were relatively rare. But why would a king eat like a subject? So there's kind of two bits to this. One's economic and one's political. These animals were your literal cash cows. They were your bank in early medieval England. So if you were going to kill one to eat one, you had to make it for a very, very good reason. So if you're going to do that and spend all your money at once, it was usually a big political event to bring everybody together, to sort of chat, get to know your subjects, and to also make sure they were loyal to you. So it was a bit like a big sort of campaign dinner, talking to your donors and um, your sort of extended family sort of backing you up. And how do you, as a 21st century person, know this? A combination of good old fashioned sort of history detective work and uh, cutting edge science. So we looked at some of the few remaining food lists that you and your friends left behind, sort of saying what you wanted in a feast. And then we compared that to chemical analysis of bones from you and your subjects. Um, I dissolved the bones in acid um, and then put it through a fancy machine called a mass spec, which tells me the types of things that you ate. Hmm, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I think so. Glad, glad you think so too.